the lady from Ankara. International Affair. The lady from Ankara. The lady. Hi, today I want to take another look at signing in to a Google account when you've forgotten the password or at least trying to sign in. So for that, I'm starting at YouTube. You can start on any Google product which has a sign in button and I'm going to click sign in at the top right hand side and I'm going to enter the email address that I'm trying to sign into or the Google account that I'm trying to sign into and I'm going to click on next. And here I would normally enter my password, but because I've forgotten it, I'm going to click on forgot password. And I'm being told that a, a verification code has just been sent to a recovery email address. So this particular Google account is secured with a recovery email address. And instead of me being asked to complete the email address, I'm literally being told to go to that particular email address and get the code and then enter that code here. Now, let's, let's just say that I can't access this particular Google account either, this particular one here, because it happens to be a Gmail. It is already a Google account. And I'm going to try another way. And I'm being told here that I can receive a verification code to my recovery phone number. I can receive a text or I can receive a, co uh, a voice call. And I also have the option to let them know that I don't have my phone. I'm going to click on I don't have my phone. And basically, I'm being told to try again because Google hasn't had enough information to verify that it's me. And it says here, try again to sign in and answer as many questions as you can. And this is where a lot of us become unstuck because we're not being asked any questions. We don't consider um, completing the phone number or the recovery email address or ac accessing the recovery email address and phone number, as in my case. Um, to be answering questions and we are expecting security questions. Google do not consider security questions to be uh, safe enough. So that is a bit of a, a, I don't know whether you could class it as a misnomer or a misconception that we have. But basically what they're saying here is answer as many questions as you can. If I'm being asked for my previous, you know, a last known password, then I could enter that. But I wasn't asked that. So that is one of the questions that I could be answering. So I understand that this is a little bit confusing, but ultimately, if if I can't um, use my recovery options, which are in this case a, a voice or text call to my recovery phone number or receiving a code to my recovery email address, then I may have to accept that the Google account is lost to me and that I would have to start over with a different Google account, make create myself a new one and accept it's lost. The other thing you can do is try this process again after seven days. It's anecdotal at best. I can't guarantee it'll work. And if you're not in your usual location and on your usual device or even um, using the usual Wi-Fi network and you can do that, go back home, go back to school and try again or, or work, um, then by all means do. It can help. So all the best to you. Thank you for listening and goodbye.